All right, so here's all the, the stuff from the, the front hub. Um, you got, I'll start from the outside in here. First thing you're taking off is the cotter pin, then the castle nut, then there's a washer underneath that. At that point, you could pull the whole hub off, and the rest of this will come with it, with the exception of these. They'll probably stay behind. Um, so you got cotter pin, castle nut, washer. Uh, it's a new cotter pin because I've taken the other one on and off a few times too many and it's getting kind of brittle so good idea to replace that so it does its job. Um, difference between these bearings and the outer, I'm sorry, inner bearing, the one behind the, I don't know if I'm saying this or if it's Hylard clutch or Hillard clutch, but the clutch assembly. Um, if you look at these two, if you take it all apart and you're afraid about mixing up parts or um, you can see there's a clear difference. Look at the radius here. Look at this big radius here. That big radius also has a larger ID. These are an inch. This is about an inch and a sixteenth. Or they say an inch and sixty-two and a half thousandths, but it's actually about eighty on mine. I don't know. Yours might be closer, but so that's an indicator that you can look at and see. Oh, whoops. Plus, these will not fit on the back side of the shaft beyond the spline. You know, it's just too small, so not much chance of messing that up if you're half paying attention. Um, let's see. So you want to be careful with this, not to be stretching that spring on there. You can very simply remove this nut out of here. That nut slides out, and then it gives you access to taking all those individual parts out. There's also the space around the back. Um, this is called an armature plate that goes on the back of this with those ears lined up again with that. So that's pretty much it. You got there's all your parts for that. Kind of knocked things off kilter there. Sorry about that. Um, so that's pretty simple. Hopefully that's helpful.